Let's say you have an iMac in a classroom. Let's say you're going to have an iMac in your den. Let's say you're going to have an iMac in the kids' room. And you want to let them watch movies. To go out and buy a television and a VCR or even a DVD player, you're going to save over $400 not having to buy this stuff. And you're going to save having all this clutter around because you can do it all now with one box called an iMac DV. So what I'd like to do now is show you that. So I have a DVD of one of my favorite movies here. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to plug in a keyboard and a mouse right here. Not like that. And uh, let me just load my movie disc in. <clears throat> and can we get video, please? There we go. There we go. My DVD player is launched. It's going to show me the movie full screen. As I said, this is one of my favorite movies. And as you can see, the quality is just stunning. We can watch the whole movie, but I also have the ability to uh, move around on scenes and things like that, like I always do with DVDs. Everything's all built right in. So, the ability to play movies right on my iMac TV, built into every single iMac TV. We think this is going to be huge. But there's one more thing that we think is going to be even bigger. Matter of fact, I think this is going to be the next big thing. <laughs> I think it's going to be just huge. And that is that all the iMac DV models, with all those amazing features from the iMac, all the amazing features you've seen in iMac TV, the ability to play movies, all the iMac TVs also have the ability to make movies. Let me take you through this. We have written some software called iMovie, which is a breakthrough piece of software that lets you make movies right on the desktop with your new iMac TV. And of course, it rides on the foundation, that digital media platform called QuickTime that Apple created. And it also makes use of FireWire. Now, FireWire connects to a lot of devices, as we saw. But one of the most important ones is camcorders. Every digital camcorder has a FireWire port on it. It's been universally adopted for digital camcorders. And so you can plug your iMac DV right into your digital camcorder, and you can transfer video from your digital camcorder right into your iMac DV with pristine digital quality, without any accessories, nothing else to buy. And once you get it into iMac DV, you can be the director and the producer. You can rearrange clips. You can put titles in and scrolling credits. You can put beautiful transitions and special effects in. You can drop soundtracks 
and sound effects in and make movies right on your desktop in very high DV quality. And when you're done, you can store your movie on your local hard disk or some local removable storage, or you can send it out back through the FireWire port, back to your camcorder, and store it on digital video. Or you can go through your camcorder into a VCR and make a VHS tape to send to anybody you like. Or you can compress the file and make a QuickTime movie out of it and email it to somebody or put it on your personal website. It's unbelievable. So, iMovie. We think this is going to be the next big thing. Desktop video. Now, so again, iMac DV, a remarkable breakthrough. Firewire, that enables us to connect the camcorders. QuickTime, the foundation, and this amazing new application we've written called iMovie. All five of these things are coming together. Four of them Apple created to make something new called desktop video, which we think is going to be as big as desktop publishing was. And I'd like to show it to you now. So, I am going to make a movie. <laughs> Might not be as good as the last one we were watching, but... <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to launch iMovie now, and I've got some some clips stored in iMovie already, but I've got a few extra clips on my camcorder right here, which I'm going to turn on, and uh, I'm going to plug it in. So I'm just going to take my FireWire port and uh, plug it into my uh, iMac right here, my iMac TV. And um, so I've got a few clips loaded in here already. So it says camera connected, but I'm going to go back and look at my clips. And I've got some clips, and uh, they're down here, so I'm going to just look at them right now. Let's take a look at them. <laughs> I've got one clip there. I've got another one here. And of course, you know, I can scroll in those clips anywhere I want to. I can go backwards and forwards and you know, do whatever I want. Here's another one here, my third one. So, as you might have guessed, my movie is going to be about a dog bath. Right? Now, I've got uh, another clip up here, which is where they're automatically put when I import them from the camcorder. And uh, let me look at this one here. Now, I can just drag this clip down into my movie. And I just by dragging it down here and letting it go. It's just like a drag and drop video. Now, the other amazing thing is I can rearrange these clips again just by dragging them and dropping them. So I can put this one right there. You know, they fill the water after they bring the tub over. And I want to start my movie with the dog. And uh, I think I'll end it with this, uh, with this spraying right here. So I've just rearranged the clips. And now, if I go back and take a look at my movie, I can watch it from beginning to end. So let me... Isn't that cool? Now, one of the things I should mention, <coughs> one of the things I should mention is we're, this movie is preserved in full digital video quality inside the computer. We can't see that on the screen um, in real time, but we have full DV quality so that when I put this back out to videotape or make any other kind of uh, file with it, I get full digital video quality, which is even better than what you're seeing. Now I'm going to go import some things from the camcorder. I've got two more clips. So I just flip this button, flips me back to the camcorder, and I'm controlling the camcorder right from iMovie, because FireWire can control the whole deck. I don't have to go flip the buttons over there. So I'm just going to go play, and I'm going to hit the import button. And what iMovie does is, because it's all digital video, it looks for the first start of the first clip, and it starts loading it right in. And then when I stop and start the camera, it knows I've got a different shot, so it'll make a second clip and put it right up there automatically for me. 